Today's the day, match day, Millwall away. Quite, I've got to be quiet. Stupid clock in the morning here. Obviously, I'm heading down a little bit earlier because uh, I've got a match against the Millwall veterans before we get on there. So I'm getting up, quick coffee, get me dancing gear on, get ready to go and get the minibus. Six and a bit hour journey down to Millwall. Will it be worth it? I hope so. Big Reggie's had the international break to get his team sorted. No one who we're missing through injuries and suspensions. Is he going to work magic? I think he is. Although, I'm still on that fence at the minute. But we'll find out when we get on there. Off to the transport. Go with the lads. Right, so we're at the first service stop because there's some fucking weak old bladders on our fucking well, minibus. I was to do with bladders. It was a bowel issue, I think. Yeah, you know what I mean. But normally, on a, it's a different way day because obviously we're playing a football match when we first get down there. Oh, yeah. So instead of being five cans deep by this time, <laughs> we've just been to get a Greg's hot chocolate. Hey, hot chocolate. Still, optimism is, hey, I'm not going to say high, but you know, hoping for the best. Right. It's going to be a tough one, but I'm sure I'll get more excited as the Con game gets closer. Contrary to belief, um, Steve's not really stingy. He bought me hot chocolate, thanks, mate. <laughs> <laughs> right, see, it's documented now, so now there's proof I'm not a tight That's bastard. It, uh. Dave, early, early score prediction on this lovely snowy day in Yorkshire. What, our game or the, or the Millwall game? No, the Millwall game. Um, I fancy um, a 2-1 win. 2-1 win? I think we might go... I think today's the day where we might go one down uh, and come back and show a bit of steel, even with a thread, uh, threadbare squad. I think... Um, I'd like to see Tommy Watson get on like the day. Yeah, it would be interesting to see what the lineup's going to be. Yeah. But anyway, I'm going to put my four away now because my fucking hands are freezing. Right, we're down at the den. We're in the Lions Centre, which is next door to the den. Getting ready for our match against the veterans. Energy's good, energy's good. We're feeling confident going up against the Millwall lads. Hopefully, we get the three. We, we come away with a win, and then the Red and White Wizards come away with the three points. Maybe, you never know. If I play any decent, you might see some video clips of us on the pitch. Soon, we'll, time will tell. Can I even speak properly? I'm too focused for the game. Right, we've just finished the Sunderland Veterans versus Millwall Veterans game. We played two games. The first one was won by Millwall, 3-1. The second game was won 1-0 by Milton Veterans uh, Sunderland. Who was it scored the winner? Oh yeah, that's right, me. Oh, what a screamer. But yeah, we're here with Dwayne. Dwayne, or as he's known, two points. He was uh, the best referee I've ever seen. The tallest referee he's ever seen. But hey, looking forward to this game. I definitely look forward to the game when we come up and play Sunderland on your 5G pitch. Well, I was talking about three o'clock. Oh, yeah, we can't wait. You can't you know, wait. You, well, we're going to see what happens, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. What's your, score? What, what, what's your score for this? I say 3 2. To you. To us. I think you're, you're going in favourite. We've you're got a lot of you, people out there, you're going good for it. Don't be stupid. I'm not a gambler, man. But can't no. wait for the match. We're going to have a drink after. Great atmosphere. Great well. atmosphere. Great Wonderful. turnouts for the veterans game. We all here for the right reasons. We've played in good spirit at times. The main thing was everyone enjoyed it. It's veterans getting together and that's what, what it's all about. If you're a veteran and you're watching, find your nearest military veterans football club, get along, join it, have a laugh. That's Whether right. you're good or crap, it doesn't really matter. It's about getting involved and just giving your all. www.militaryveteranfootball.co.uk He nearly forgot his own website there. <laughs> but now we're going to get we're going to get changed. We're going to get to the bar, have a couple of pints, and we're going to get in the den, and we're going to see who comes out on top in this game. The How are we? How are we? Right, here we are, we're in the den, I've finally got a pint in the hand after playing on football matches. The lineup is quite surprising. He's got Patterson in net instead of Moore, Bonnard, Mepham, O'Neill, Elise is back in, Rig, Neil, Watson, Connolly, Eastall, and Mayenda. So he's going for it. Good news for us is there, Bassett, Jai, and G. Cooper is our injured. Surprise for us, the serpent's got him on the bench. So nothing's been said, but I'm guessing he's injured because he's made of glass. But here we are, we're on the fight, we're going to get in the swing, the swing of things. Let's see how the line about there, and let's get behind the lads. How are the lads? Right, here we are. With Big Sam Turnbull, my little cousin, uh, Sam, down at the den. You live down south, so you go to more away games than home games, didn't you? What's your score prediction for the day? 3-1, Isidore Hattrick. Isidore Hattrick? Do you reckon? Either him or Watmore, it's nailed on. What's your light target for this video? 300. 300, oh yeah, lads, we can do it. Ha! Right, as, as most of you know who's watching, there's a medical emergency in the Millwall end. Uh, obviously, obviously, we all hope the person's all right. Um, <laughs> all the Sunderland fans are nearly, well, pretty much all the Sunderland fans are down now having a pint and a pie. Uh, Russ. Um, it's not even half time yet, so by the time the second half kicks off, we're all going to be fucking minging. But so far, so good. First off, they haven't really threatened us at all. They keep on trying to lump the ball up there, uh, Josh Coburn, but he, he hasn't got now. What Moore's doing when he did with us, he's just a road runner, he's trying to run. But when you're running at Luke O'Neill and Mepham and Ballard, you're going to get anywhere. Lovely goal by Aaron Connolly, hell of a finish from the edge of the box. Um, 
my end has been absolutely fantastic, by the way. Absolute trans. Isidore, he's limping about a bit, so I hope he's all right. But um, like I say, we've got to wait to finish the first half, then we'll have half time, and then hopefully we'll keep it up. Actually, hope the Millwall fans are all right. Obviously, hope the game continues. Obviously, it's suspended at the minute. We'll have to wait and see. Go in the lads. Thankfully, Ron can hold him up, pins it across, and there he One thing I will say is, right? Yes, we'll do one more, which I'm predicting, by the way. But the Milner fans celebrate that one. And the Milner fans are shit. They've only got one song, which is pathetic, by the way. Now, I've got another Milner fan, but they've got one song. It's very disappointing from what I was expecting when I came down here. And they're all just more concerned about Carlos Fuentes. We all want part of human nature. Right, it's, it's all wrapped up in the den. You just know what happened. Obviously, injury time winner. Uh, not winner, fucking hell. Injury time equaliser by Millwall. Listen, there's loads of fans leaving deflated and pissed off. I don't understand people being pissed off, obviously, the way they were, because they equalised in injury time. But you've got to bear in mind, before the game, we would have took a point. And in that second half, we were only in their half three times. Millwall were a good team. It's a fierce place to come to. There's a reason why they've only conceded more than one goal twice this season or scored one goal more than three times this season and that's it going away with the point and we always say like me and Jazzy say all the time win your home games get a point on your way games and you're heading in the right direction yes that's four draws in a row Sheffield United win we're not on top of the league anymore but there's still a long way to go listen I mean I said one once so I was right Jazzy you're looking at me but listen point away it's a hard place to come here it really is especially with the suspensions and injuries we had but look we're coming away. We haven't lost. Yes, it's hard to bear when you when you concede an equaliser in injury time. But look, we didn't get beat. And I'll tell you what, I've, I said it in a previous clip, which you'll have already seen. Millwall fans are very disappointing. I mean, I've got a lot of friends who's Millwall fans. They've only got one song. They've got one song, and that's it. And, and in that song, all the D's slag themselves off. No one likes them. Listen, apparently, no one likes them, and they, and they don't care. Apparently, but look. Way down the 10, finish 1-1. One, one. Electric looked sharp when he came on. Tommy Watson had a good game. The centre-backs were unreal, by the way. Meppen, Meppen, by Meppen. the way. Meppen, Meppen is Meppen. fucking absolutely fantastic. It's like gravy. Simon, sign of the season, without a shadow of a doubt. But look, it's finished at the 10, it's 1-1. One, one. We're now going to head back up the road. There may be a few beverages sank on the way home. We shall soon see. But anyway, see us, see us for the preview Go for West Brom. Tuesday. Okay. I would do. See us for the preview if uh, West Brom on Tuesday. And as always, I'm with the lads. Can it see on the other? Miserable cockneys. Is it ever a better sight? <laughs> I've got to be honest here, like, we're 20 minutes. See, see the screen? We're 20 minutes into the second half. Sing your own top for the lads! Sing your own top for the lads! Well, like I was saying, we're 20 minutes into the second half and we've been in there half once. We need, we, I, I, I'm a believer in weather and the storm, but we need to start doing a bit more. Like, Sorry, I was a bit close to the camera there. No one wants to say that. But we need to start getting a grip of the game a bit more. Millwall is all our us this second half. Luckily, we've got the one goal cushion, but are we? Let's fucking put them in a bed.